Well, yes, we had a few few little dramas with Mother, though, because she'd been in two other places before she got here. Is that because the care didn't suit her, or was it changing levels of care? It was changing levels of care, and then Bethlehem Views said that they could cope with dementia people. So would they just rest home or hospital or something like that? Hospital and um, rest home. You know, it was the old Southern Cross Hospital in Cambridge Road. But then they couldn't, so they drugged mother, and so we just said that's a no-no, and she was just walking around like a zombie. Mm. Absolutely disgusting, but through support net and things, because mum was on the waiting list at Carter House in Tipuki. But then we didn't, that didn't happen, and then they rang all of a sudden and said, we have a room here at Cedar Manor, that you know, has a proper dementia wing, get her here now. I had to leave work and move it in the day was such a drama and she's on no drugs and nothing and she's never been happier. That was so nice. That was so nice. But goodness, but, the time yeah, frame. Yeah. Oh, you don't hear of that too often. No. It was a bit, it was traumatic because I think when you've got dementia and you move, it takes them a couple of months to just adapt to their new surroundings and different staff and different people. So and I think a lot of them, probably at Bethlehem Views, the other um, residents there don't understand the different strains of dementia and the odd f funny things that they do, you know. Whereas in Barker Wing, they've all got that different, different levels and half of mum's clothes are on someone else and whatever. And I think, I don't care, you know, they're clean, they're washed, she's wearing someone else's and they nick things, you know, not steel, but you know, I find a pair of man's slippers in mum's <laughs> wardrobe, and it's I think it's, life, it, it is, yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah. Um, one of the things you'll notice when, when <coughs> you start to talk, I won't say anything back, I'll just nod and smile, yep. because we don't want my voice getting over yours, so right. if you wonder why I've suddenly gone very mute, that's what it is. Sure. So, sorry, I'm, I'm just, just reflecting on what you've told me, mm. and sort of working out where my next questions are. So, um, so you moved your mum in really quickly. Um, how did you find, because I, I, let me say, how did you find the staff um, and basically everything that was there to support you and her at the time that she moved? Oh, they were very helpful. Um, the, the carers were just absolutely wonderful and the, my main concern was to get into her room, get her stuff put around her, pictures up on the wall, make her feel sort of at home even though she was a bit disoriented because she didn't know the place very, well didn't know it at all, it was a, a different set of you know rooms and the look and things like that but, but we got her settled and they fed her and gave her a cup of tea and the carers all sort of took you know, special care for her and introduced her to the other residents there. And then, but it took quite a while for me to do all the paperwork, which is, which has to be done, it's a necessary thing, but I was probably two hours with the carers filling out all mum's details because the previous place she came from, they didn't give all the correct paperwork. So that was just a, probably a slip up in administration there so I just had to go through a lot of other things with her and her likes and dislikes and what she doesn't like to eat and what she likes to do and the previous activity she had when she was more capable. And um, so they got a complete background of the type of person that she was and what she likes to do. So I found them extremely supportive. They rang me about a week later to just let me know how mum was settling in and was she, you know, eating properly and, and um, dressing and things like that. And of course we had to quickly then um, name all her clothes, which sometimes you do forget. So you've got to get the special little laundry pencil and um, just make sure that every single item is um, named. Quite a journey. Quite a journey, a journey for also we as a family with um, mum's dementia getting sort of more, needing more cares and it's just a matter of working through that too with the support staff there that are trained in dementia work because it is quite hard 
when you're not used to it, and my mother being so active, and at 79 she did Outward Bound, and here, you know, not even 10 years later, she's got global dementia, but she still does recognise my twin sister and myself, and calls me by my name, which is still wonderful to hear that. Um, the day perhaps she forgets, that might be a bit hard to take, but they give us counselling here and support and guidance and just ring us and let us know if mum's not very good one day or she's had a fall or someone's bumped into her and she bruises very easily. But no, I'm very impressed with the way they operate here and the management staff are excellent and they email me um, the monthly schedules of their activities and you get um, emailed ahead the residence meetings that we have. I think it's once every three months a residence meeting. And then we get the minutes and you can ask questions from there. So, and I join in on some sports activities, which is fun to have, you know, to be involved with mum there as well, not just always with, you know, no family members present. So have you found that those residence meetings, um, sorry, the relatives meetings good? Yes, very good. Very good. You just find out what's happening in the management. If there's staff leaving or new staff coming or new improvements or extra, um, like they've brought on a physiotherapist and things like that. If you've got, like mum suffers from swollen ankles. Um, it's a bit too noisy, that car. Yeah. Oh, it picks up everything. Yeah, some of the other noise is a bit light. I thought we might have just got away yeah, with that, that, but not yeah, the last yeah. one. It seems to be getting busier at lunchtime rather than, rather than being quieter. Yeah. Because we, we've had a... This is just such a lovely flow of your experiences. Are you still rolling, Ella? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so we can just carry on now. Oh. Um, so, have the relatives meetings given you a network at all in terms of other people? Has that been something for you? No, that, that sort of hasn't, hasn't happened as such. I don't see many um, relatives of the residents because I work full time and it pay, and I see mum in the weekends and basically mornings are better than afternoons to visit because there's that um, sundowning episode that they have, sort of early afternoons, full moons are uh, no nos they do go all a little bit strange on full moons that's just a dementia thing and um if i i have tried to call in and i have called in sorry and seen her after work like 5 five thirty after she's had her tea but they're all very restless and um so it, it doesn't make my heart feel good um being like that with mum and then she wants to know why i'm going an hour later, and I say, well, mummy, I've got to go home and cook my tea. I've got to eat and I've got to, you know, have a sleep. I've got to go to work the next morning. So it's basically I ring during the week and speak to them. The carers are always there and hands the phone over. My brother phones every week from Australia to speak to mum, and the carers always find mum, and he might have a five-minute conversation one day. He might have a ten-minute conversation. She can't, and because I send him the activity schedule every month, he chats to her about that. So even if she does remember or not remember, he's got something to talk to her about because a lot of them don't um, instigate a conversation. You have to instigate the conversation and just chat. And if she goes away on a little old memory of when she was a young teenager, you just go, oh, really, that was fantastic, Mum, how wonderful. So you've just got to learn to go with where they're at at the time. And it just makes you um, warm fuzzies, really, even though it is it is sad. You do learn to cope with it and just know she's in the right place with the right caring people, lovely staff, and everything's taken care of. Sounds like you've learned an awful lot and really come to terms with it yourself, mm. so. Well, Mum's been in Barker Wing since June last year, so she hasn't even been there a, a year yet, but she's got lots of friends there. 
she looks after the others. She is the last to go to bed at night. I pity the staff, really, because um, mum just likes to do things, so she wipes down the tables, she sweeps the floors, she wants to set the tables for dinner or, or lunch or whatever the case may be. She likes to draw. She was always very active with um, outdoor bowls and tennis, but that sort of doesn't happen anymore. But they do, she goes on all the activities out in the bus. She's never sick. She's just a, a very gentle, um, quietly spoken lady. See why this place would suit, the, mm. would suit her. And the gardens are lovely too because they do enjoy getting out in the garden. Yeah. And, um, it's a really beautiful. Oh, it, it's, it's absolutely wonderful, and the roses and, mm. and things like that because they do different plantings, so they do help doing that and they water the garden and things like that. I think we're done. That's fantastic. It's a pleasure. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Yes. Now you've got a tail on, so yeah. I have. <laughs> Get a flannel out of the thing with the towels are. You want to see it the way? Oh, it's pretty good. It's looking good. Lisa, can we get them on the other, on the other side of it, possible? One on, uh, on, 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 the, on, one on both sides, is yep. that possible? Gary, we need you over this side. Yeah, it's dirty on the other side. You might need a bit more water on this side, actually. Yeah, go Crystal. Yeah, you can get the towel out of the thing. Yeah, you can get the towel out of the thing. Yeah, it's looking good. Yeah, it's doing our Okay. All right. Good thing she's very stable. <laughs>